Hi guys, how are you? I hope you are having a really good day today. This video is going to be my top five foundations. This is going to be a collab with a lovely girl called Natasha who is from Australia. So I'll leave her name, her YouTube name here and I'll of course have a video link down below. So definitely go and check that out. Um, my foundations, I have a, about three, well, two to three high end and then two drugstore. So I'm going to start off with the high end um, and the first one is my holy grail foundation and by the way I'm using a new camera this first time I've used it so I really do apologise like about focusing and stuff I'm not sure how that's going to play out anyway this is the Clinique Anti Blemish Solutions foundation so that's what it looks like um, it has a screw top like this the bottle is plastic and it's very small if I compare it to a Revlon and Sephora it's very small very thin but I like it I think it's really compact and you can keep it in your handbag without having to take up a lot of space this color is in shade 4 fresh vanilla it's actually a tad dark it's okay today because I've fake tanned but um, in future I will be getting the lighter shade they're not very good at colour matching because previous to this one it was an even darker shade and anyway this so is orange. a full coverage foundation if you're someone who suffers with acne or blemishes I really really would recommend this it covers everything and also it's got some some ingredient to help treat um, but yeah this is around I want to say it's around £25 but I'll have the prices of each of them there so this is one of the more expensive ones but for me it's worth it and I don't use it every single day so it really does last but favourite foundation ever and it's amazing. Another high end foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So this is the box it comes in, I have tried this before but this is a repurchase so I haven't opened this one yet. Um, I am in the shade Rattan which it says 2W2 Rattan. And then this is what the love looks like. So the packaging is absolutely stunning. It's a glass bottle um, with a gold lid. And this is a very yellow tone foundation. Literally, like when I first put it on my face, it looked so yellow. But my skin is very warm and olive, so this blended in amazingly and it matched me perfectly. But I would be careful, I'm not sure what the colour selection is like with this, as I have only ever tried this shade and it's perfect for me. But like I said, it's very yellow, so be careful. Um, again, the bottle is quite small and compact. If I compare it, it's the same size as the Clinique, but a bit fatter. But it is such a stunning bottle. Um, and unfortunately, this does not have a pump. It has an open open top. I'm not going to open this to show you because I haven't opened it yet and I kind of want to save it but it has a similar top to the Revlon colour state which I'll show you in a minute uh, but this one is absolutely fantastic and it's worth a splurge. My next high end ish foundation I don't know is Sephora high end? I don't really know let's just say mid end and uh, that this is the Sephora Fond de Tint Perfection 10 hour oh I just read the French bit 10 hour wear perfect foundation so this is what it looks like sorry about my lights getting in the way so it's a very slim black black slim glass bottle with a black lid which has a pump like this which is really really handy this is the shade medium three when i purchased this in corfu they had three shades and this was the darkest shade I was colour matched and it was perfect at the time. Of course I was in Corfu where the weather's like 30 degrees and in England right now it's about 4 degrees. I was hella tanned, literally I had the best tan of my life, I was so brown. So obviously now when it's winter this is not going to be the right shade, I could probably wear it now because I've fake tan, but literally it is orange, <laughs> not orange but it is so 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 dark so 
um, I will definitely be repurchasing this when I go to Florida in March but I'll have to purchase the lighter shade and again I'm not sure on the colour selection but I bought this very cheap because there was like 20% off in Sephora so I think I got this for about 8 or 9 euros which was a bargain it is a really good coverage um, the pump factor is great and it's just a really nice foundation and it lasts a long time um, I've used some, some of it up as you can see there's like patches but it's a lovely foundation if you can try this out then I definitely one from would. the drugstore now is of course Revlon Color Stay. I am in love with this foundation this is the Revlon Color Stay in fresh beige for normal to dry skin so it comes in this glass bottle this retails for about 12.99 nearly dropped them and this is what it looks like so this is exactly like Estee Lauder Double Wear which is so annoying because if you're paying all that money for a foundation you'd expect it to have a pump that's like MAC ones as well where they make you pay extra for a pump which is absolutely ridiculous nah but with this I just pour it onto my hand and voila this is actually finished so I need to get another one and they do a option for oily skin as well if you've got oily skin which is really good but I use a normal to dry one and this is amazing it's full coverage it lasts all day I'm a full coverage foundation girl I like medium to full coverage if I can't get the medium coverage I'll top it off with concealer but I don't do like coverage no 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 like my skin is so so bad which is very sad actually but yes this foundation amazing and very affordable I repurchased this many 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 times like <gasps> love it so much literally I am in love the last foundation I have I actually do not have in my hands to show you right now because number one it finished and number two I don't even sell it in the UK but I did an all elf tutorial where I used it so I'll link that here you can quickly go to there so you can see what it looks like I'm very very sorry but literally nothing compares um the shape it's the elf acne fighting foundation so it's essentially the Clinique Anti Blemish Solution Foundation, but very, very, very cheaper. I don't sell it in the UK. Um, I asked Elf, like, hello, can you sell it here? I need it in my life. And they said it's going through testing and all that stuff, so hopefully it'll be available soon. I pray you American and Canadian girls, whatever, you can probably purchase it. Well, you can't purchase it. Um, so, yes, that is what it is. If I can, I'll put up a picture of what it looks like it is amazing it's literally exactly the same as the um clinic one it's really medium to full coverage it lasts all day it just makes my skin look absolutely flawless clinical the clinic one is better yes but it is a very very good dupe and i love it so i'm very sorry i didn't have it to show you but i hope you understand i did have it i was saving it because i was like no i can't let you go but my room is a mess, like, I don't know where it is, <laughs> so I do apologise about that. But I hope you enjoyed my top 5 foundation video. If you did, please give me a like and he please hit subscribe. Also, I would ask kindly if you could please check out my social media sites. I'll be linked in the description box down below, that would be amazing. And also check out um, Natasha's video. So thanks so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!